I love getting cool stuff in the mail that maybe you didn't even realize existed, like this guy. It's a test cartridge for the Sega Genesis. This was sent to me by Retro Gaming Arts. I'll leave a link in the description below, and this card here will let you know how your Sega Genesis is feeling. I'm gonna ask you, how are you feeling? You got John Riggs here, and this thing is pretty cool. I'm gonna test drive this on a couple of different Sega Genesis systems. What it does is it basically, uh, is it like a, not calibrate, um, it's like, I'll just pop it in, how about that? Now I'm gonna pop this in in real time, and this is using a Model 1 Sega Genesis, just so you can see what it's all about here. So, what happens is when you pop this sucker in, you power it on, and I'm, I am playing this through an RF so you can get the screen artifacts. And then you can press A to program normally or B to load the memory diagnostic. The main program contains a memory diagnostic with a console with its damaged memory may have trouble loading the main program. If you suspect your console has memory issues, it is recommended that you press B. I am going to press A. And now it's telling what it is. Now this region detection is North America, which it is. List some other things that I'm not exactly sure what they do either. There is no 32X found. That is a uh, shame. And also interesting to point down here that this is made to use with a three button controller. Now if you're using a six button controller like I am, it will work. However, it may scroll too quickly or something like that. So if you hold the mode button, it'll help you out along the way. So we'll go to the next page here. And this is letting you know, trigger an address error. Uh, there's things you can do here, and maybe you recognize what some of these do. I don't, I'll be honest with you. This part, I can recognize, because it says, you know, controller port. Now you can watch the little numbers up here change, you know, up, down, left, right, A, B, C, start. Um, the X, Y, Z buttons on my th six button controller won't do anything, because again, this is optimized for a three button controller. And that's what happens if you don't hold the mode button. So hold mode. And you'll just do one at a time here. Now you can change, uh, you know, the address, which again, not recommended you do unless you know what you're doing. <laughs> More of the same. This is going to show you a few things that you can work on. You know, maybe this, maybe this means something to you. I'll be honest with you. I don't. I, I can't make heads or tails of it, but I think it's really cool that they have something like this for the Sega Genesis. Now here you can actually test the FM. I'll go ahead and hit it here. Here's this. Now here you can test the sounds. Um, I'll press C here on the FM. Pretty good. We have the PSG. <laughs> and then here's testing the DAC. All right, that sounds familiar. Next page. Here's some more things that you can play with, I suppose. And here you can test uh, the RAMs. <laughs> Not test the RAMs, you know what I mean, though. Test, no, test VRAM? Sure. Whoa, that was cool. And I recognize these two. Like, here's, you know, press C to do the uh, image. Okay, so color bleed test. There you go. Uh, test for sharpness. So there's different lines there. Again, I'm playing this through an RF, so it's going to look a little wobbly sometimes. Overscan. All right. Ooh. Oop. Here's the stripes. Very thin stripes. Checker. Super small checkerboard pattern. Couple some couple gradients for you. All right. Oop. There you go. Cool. And then the final page here. Little shout out page for you. So. Yeah, that's, that's what this is. Now I'm going to test it on something else. Now in the realm of because we can, we'll test it out on the old uh, Sega Nomad here. Unfortunately, the mode button is right here, so you got to like hold this, hold that. So again, same things, and you can use this on your Sega Nomad as well. Sega Model 2, probably. Model 3, I'm not sure, and I did test this out on a clone system, and it kind of crashed when it did, so something to consider. But you can see these, uh, you know, like the color tests and all that. Boy, they're working just fine on here, so. Yeah, pretty neat. So now, if you're the average gamer, you like to play Sega Genesis games, I don't blame you. Everyone needs more Sega in their life. This might not be the thing for you. However, if you own a video game store, you get Sega Genesis systems in all the time. You want to test them out, clean them up, make sure they're working properly. 
Maybe if you do a lot of yard sailing or you find Sega Genesis systems in your region at places like Goodwill, Value Village, the DI, wherever you shop, this might be pretty handy to have. This might be pretty handy to have. Now with me, for the kind of things I do, eh, I don't know. I mean, I may use it in the future, especially if I find a Sega Genesis that's not quite working. However, I think this is a pretty valuable tool, especially for like video game stores who have Sega Genesis systems in their stock and need something to test them out on. Again, a big thanks to Retro Gaming Arts for donating this to the channel. If you want yours, I will leave a link in the description below of where you can purchase yours. In fact, their shop has so many cool other things you can do. Like they have like, uh, like extended sound mods for their Genesis systems. There's some cool things you can do for the TurboGrafx-16 as well. Might be worth shopping around a little bit to see what they have, and you'll find this there too. As always, I thank you for watching. More cool stuff is always on the way, and I will catch you later.